welcome to the video my friends i hope you're all doing well we've got another elden ring tips and tricks today this time a little bit later game but you do pick up this quest i believe at the beginning of the game talking to the blood priest dude wearing the white mask as you come out of the old graveyard at the very beginning of the game he should be stood there and ask you to meet him at the rose church in the northern part of the map which is located just here on the map there's a fast travel point at grace just below where he is run up there talk to him and he will give you another part of the story where you have to do three pvp encounters we're using the fingers that he gives you he gives you five i believe and then you just do three pvp encounters invading other players worlds then you go back to him on three successful you don't have to win you can lose i lost all three of mine because i've never done pvp before so i got my butt kicked Then go back to the dude at the Rose Church. He will give you a Lord of Blood's favor, essentially a piece of cloth. After you've got the piece of cloth, you need to go to this location on the map where I'm going here. And there will be portals there. The chest at the top of this hill will have the key you need. Use the very top portal that I'm using in this video and it will take you to the required location. Then you carry on back through to the church just along the path here and there should be a maiden as he's going to need you to soak the piece of cloth that he gave you in the maiden's blood there's a dead maiden in the church that you go to just from the boss at the start and once you go back to him he can then imbue you with the blood soaked cloth and talk to him again a second time after you've done the blood soak ritual and he will give you a medallion and this medallion is to take you to a totally new area where there is a tournament going on and you can face Moog the Lord of Blood. This is supposed to be the hardest boss in the game. Once you've used the medallion and you're at the new location follow the route I take here. going straight up the lift to where Moog is found. Don't bother with any of the NPCs on the way. Just grab all loot that you can on the way. These NPCs are pretty tough. Even for me at that level that I did this, they were pretty much one or two taps, uh, some of these. So yeah, don't mess with them. You will get some extra runes as well as the explosive zombies kill each other. So there's bonus runes to be had as well as any loot you pick up on the way. And once you reach Moog, it's where things get a little bit spicy. But there is a way to glitch it. This is going to probably be fixed some point soon. You will need to face him first and probably get beaten because he is super tough. But if you make sure you've got a very little amount of runes and let him kill you, once you go back, the doorway will all be foggy. He will be in the world permanently and there is a way you can glitch over the wall without triggering him to be alive and, and attack you. So what you want to do is jump on these tombstones here and there's a little trick to make this jump. If you don't do this, you won't make the jump. You want to jump on this tallest tombstone. You want to jump, then press and hold your sprint key while you're midair. You want to keep hold of the sprint key. Press forwards towards the wall we want to jump to as I am on this screen. Keep hold of the sprint and press jump at the same time as you're holding sprint as well as towards the wall on your thumbstick or your keyboard, whichever you're using. And you should make the jump. It took me a couple of times, so it'll probably take you a couple of times as well. That's about the easiest way to do it. Also take off, if you noticed, all of my armor, my weapons, so I'm a totally lightweight and just to make the jump. And then you want to jump over the next wall and in, and you'll notice he won't trigger on you straight away. You'll make it over the wall and you can just run up to him and start hammering him until you get the kill. This will give you a st Steam achievement or a console achievement or a trophy as well for defeating him and 500k runes for the kill. Plus you get Moog's Remembrance, which you can use or sell for another 30k runes, as well as all of the other rune balls that you collect 
throughout getting to this point and i made about 700k just over 700k all the way through this side quest uh talking to the dude and collecting everything that i found on the way all the loot running through this new part of the map towards moog collecting everything that i saw that was a collectible killing him for the 500k then selling his remembrance you could also duplicate his remembrance but i didn't have any more mausoleums left to use at this point so i just sold the one remembrance for 30k so yeah there is a lot of rooms to be made i am level 94 as of the making of this video of course there is a very good chance this could be fixed in the near future so jump on this if you are struggling for runes this is the best way of doing it you can glitch him so you don't technically have to fight him i would avoid all of the npcs if you're a lower level through this new area though they all hit very hard it's not usually something that i would do but i was doing this quest line anyway trying to figure it out and then i came across this and thought you know what let's give this a try and it, it worked so give it a try if you are struggling for runes as i've said they are used for everything and some of the bosses that i am up to now on the main story are extremely hard so i needed those extra levels to get that boost to get past some of these bosses that are just one tapping me and i think I've, I've, i might be okay to, to carry on now so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helped you get some extra runes in your pocket get some more levels or buy anything else you might need with those precious runes don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content i create and you want more elden ring tips and tricks i love you all and i'll see you peeps next time.